very much. Goodbye. <laughs> That's the first standing ovation of the weekend, by the way. You drunk? <laughs> Why not? Because <laughs> of course, neither of you have spent much time in Cardiff, I believe. <laughs> oh my god, we're in Cardiff! <laughs> More cons in Cardiff, I say. <laughs> Anybody seen any aliens? Yeah. <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> So how have you found it being back, even if it's just for a day or two? I've been here two hours so far, it's been awesome. Yeah. I've been in Cardiff, I've been in Cardiff for a while actually. Um, last summer I was in Cardiff last. It was uh, I love I was here. It was probably yeah. Yeah. Cardiff Comic Con last year, doing a tour to a tour. Oh I was meant to Oh god. Did anybody come on the tour? The tour to a tour. Oh god. Was he, was he drunk? Yeah. yeah. I was drunk last week, last year, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, proper drunk. Yeah. I had to get on a coach with 52 people just staring at me. I had to have a couple of beers. Yeah. Hello, first of all, is there any children in here? Yeah. There are. What you say? I can see how this is going to play out. <laughs> so, um, doesn't Eve look gorgeous, everybody? <laughs> Do you think she... Gave birth, I mean, 48 hours ago. <laughs> she, she looks amazing. <laughs> oh, shit, Ed, sorry. <laughs> sorry, it won't happen again. Clear strike, you know, stick it. Oh, it has got to be. The coyote look gorgeous! Yeah. Oh, it's alright, come on. I want to give birth before we have it. Ah, do you all look okay then? I was doing yesterday as well, it's lovely sitting here and everybody, literally everybody that's coming up to me is going to wear chaps and I'm going, oh, where are you from, where are you from, like an old woman. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, oh, thank you for all coming to the, to the talk and it's lovely to see you and I hope you've had a lovely weekend because I've enjoyed it, it's been great. Oh. It's alright, I'm going to die. I'm going to die oh, There's part of me thinking I should interview you but it's probably going to be oh, a yeah. little bit raucous so I might just wander out into the audience. By the way, Scott. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, Give us a song, Pi. Okay? At the end. <laughs> Why can they say at the end? <laughs> I just said no, not today. <laughs> Let's kick off here. Hi, I'm a massive fan of um, Frankie. Oh, thanks. Uh, so Cheers, you. mate. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame that it be cancelled. It'd be cancelled. Um, good shows. Did you have any input on her character? Where it would have gone? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, the dance thing was a lot of my idea. I don't know what I was thinking of. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I know what the second series was all about as well, which is quite quite hard to swallow because it was it had so many legs and so many places to go, and so many people enjoyed it. I think we had over five million a week watching it, and an audience appreciation of eighty nine. It was massive, and so many people kind of enjoyed it of all ages, which is why we made it. And she was such a lovely character to play. Um, it's a shame it's it's not going anywhere else. But um, if you get the DVD, she would be memorable to you all for forever. So um, I'm I'm really pleased you enjoyed her. Thank you. Thank you. It's filmed in my hometown as well. Oh really? Oh, I absolutely love Bristol. It was fantastic. <laughs> oh, it was great, and the people of Bristol were amazing. Sorry, I'm sorry to the children again. <laughs> we are loud. Which, which is better, Bristol or Cardiff? Get out. <laughs> Scott. Scott Tickled. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. I daren't ask any more questions. Um, we have one here. I'll sing a song at the end of Eve sings Build Me a Buttercup. What was it like working with John Barrowman? Awful. <laughs> Horrendous. His breath stinks of cabbage. I'm sure that it was. He touched me. <laughs> On me. Many a time. End of conversation. Think <laughs> swiftly on. Um, which 
Thank you very much. Eve can't remember the first two series. <laughs> 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 Uh, well, I mean, to be honest with you, we were so lucky to get to get four series that everyone had its own special uh, place in my heart. It was amazing. I mean, we went from episode series one, going, "Oh my God, I got aliens for a living," um, and thinking it was, you know, amazing. And, and then to be given a second series was a complete shock and a, and a joy to every one of us. And then when we got. Um, Series three, it was a complete change again. It was, you know, Children of Earth, just having the five eps. But it was such an event and such an amazing <coughs> story that um, it felt almost like we were doing a different project, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, it did. And then, it you did. know, Series four came along and they said, you know, you're going to be living in LA and filming in LA. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> I was like, I ain't leaving the bay. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> I was like, I'm wet. how do I get there? How do I get there? How do I get there? <laughs> So the experience as an actor to work out there was, was uh, extraordinary, and to work in Warner Brothers was, was phenomenal, you know, because um, that's the kind of, that's the hub, uh, pardon the pun, <laughs> but that, that's the hub for an actor to be working is out there. So each one of them has a very special, special place, but kind of in the back of my mind I want to say that Cardiff is the biggest character in Torture and I feel. Yeah. So, um, I think as far as torture goes itself, it, it, it kind of belongs, it's hard, it's, it's kind of, but from, you know, from a personal point of view, we, we got to be in LA with our families for four or five months. Was that was an unbelievable experience. But, but saying that, I mean, as, as a Welsh, Welsh man and a Welsh woman, to film something so, so successful as, as torture in Cardiff, in our capital, yeah. you will not get prone to people. So, it looked great on screen, so it was fantastic, you know. Just before I take another one, are you surprised at how global Portrait has become and how, how just a little, as you say, well show that appeared on BBC Three, <coughs> suddenly went to BBC Two, BBC One, and then all around the world? Constantly. I mean, constantly. We've been off air now, what, three, four years, yeah. and still Kai and I get invited to do these um, conventions and talk to fans, and people are, are excited about it now as they were back then. To me, that means that we need a Series Five. <laughs> Honestly, I am constantly overwhelmed. You know, Jason was very kind of, uh, to invite me here today and everything. You know, I'm like constantly overwhelmed yeah, like, just because you're constantly <gasps> overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm always blown away by people in Sudan. I mean, he went to Australia last summer for two weeks, and then it was they were mad for it over there. They were mad for it over there. I can't. It, it's it's crazy. It's it, the, the tortured fans are. Uh, are amazing and they're, and they're worldwide. Even he's been over to Dragon Con and I've been to Wizard World in Chicago, Philadelphia, the Dragon Con myself. I, it, 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 it just blows me away how many people just turn up and know the show and I'm big fans of it worldwide. It's amazing. And would we want a fifth series? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> he dies. <laughs> I've been told to mention my nickname as well. My friend's nickname Gwen, because when I met her, she reminded me of you. She's me? Got a proper Welsh oh, accent. Oh, oh. <laughs> Not both of you, you both Welsh. But um, my question is, um, oh, it's the States, by the way. That's Gwen. Um, my question is, I've been to the Torchwood Tower, right? As everyone probably has over here. And I've tried to use the invisible lift. It doesn't work. Yeah, shit. What's Sorry. going on? <laughs> What's going on? Am I doing it wrong? Is there a special way to do it? Yeah, you've got your time. You've got to have a big 6'2 gay man on your arm. <laughs> <laughs> only, only, only John Byron knows the code. There's a little tap routine at the top. <laughs> John Byron is the only one who knows about the magic lift. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Anything that goes up and down, he can't even go on and Stop, it's not even what I talk, stop. Yeah, I think we better move on from that, I think. <laughs> Hello. Hello, um, lovely. Hello. <laughs> Stand up, darling. Um, I'm a happily married person. I have to say, I very rarely see on television um, characters who are in a happy marriage, as, as I understand a marriage to be. And you two were, and it's the thing I love most about talking. And... <laughs> <laughs> 
charity and stuff and there was a face paint install in the corner and we said let's have a face painted so me and he were going on the field as clowns all day and then three years later we were playing husband and wife so, um, yeah he's, he's a darling and I love him to pieces I'm not dying uh, I consider myself quite lucky that I saw behind the scenes when I worked as an extra for a day on Torchwood and I saw the fun that you guys had um, at the RAF base, um, when we were doing the category one, category two, um, you two and Tom Price. Um, was it like that all the time? Yes, it was all like that. It was like that. That, that was particularly a, a mental place to be in. The crit, yes, we were exhausted and uh, really jet lagged. Yeah, all, say jet lagged. Jet lagged. Yeah, we were jet lagged. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so jet lagged makes your makes your breast full of booze. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was like that all the time, and especially um, in the first two series, because I didn't really get to work with the team as much as uh, as I'd like to have done. Um, when 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 um, Eve and John were together with with Mayoko, Byrne, and Gower, that was uh, that was uh, some sight, I must say, because it was electric on set at times. They were mental, that's all I can say. We had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> we did have a lot of fun. Um, and I mean, John and I were particularly told off quite a lot. <laughs> There's one instance, I've been, I'm sorry, we've got time for a little story? You know, yeah. 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 Should we stay in or we'll stay in all day? Get the booze in. Get the booze in. Get the doors. Get the sandwiches in. Come on. Call the beavers. It's phone dominoes. We were in the... Oh, <laughs> dominoes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yes, we were, we were working in the Heath, we were filming the Heath one night, and uh, they, they sat John and I down for like three hours. Don't sit me and John down for three hours, because something will happen. <laughs> and, uh, we, in, in, in the hospital they have these shoots, right? So you put your message, or whatever it is, in like a capsule. It's quite sci-fi. I loved it. Um, and you put you, you put it in like this tube, and then you press whatever ward you wanted to go to, and it shoots, <laughs> just like that, <laughs> to wherever you needed to go to. So, <laughs> so John got his balls out, <laughs> and I cupped them, <laughs> and took a selfie <laughs> uh, on a Polaroid camera. Then John put it in a capsule. <laughs> and sent it to the maternity ward. <laughs> they loved it, producers didn't. <laughs> so we, 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 we had a little... Well, a little round of that. So yes, that's the 
Yeah, well, sir, yes, we've had a lovely time. Lovely time. <laughs> the days were long, the whole shoot for the whole series was long as well. So, you're knackered, and, and John and Eve, you know, John is like, a, like we've said many a time, was like a great tonic and a medicine to pick anybody up if you're tired. He's, he's great fun, and Eve and John together are a uh, cracking double act. So, they, they, they bring the energy on set. When, when it was a long day, getting tired at the end of the day, John and Eve would just keep the spirits. I mean, we're a firm believer, and you've got to have fun. As soon as you stop having fun, do something else. Life's too short. <coughs> Work hard, play hard, you know. Not, not, not thing. Yeah, well, you, never mind what you just said. Have fun. <laughs> Carwin! Thank you, hello. Um, with... Hello. Hi, Jeff. Alright. Everybody tune us in, hello, Carwin! Carwin! Hello, Carwin! I've only got one, my friend, but, um, but thanks very much. We get asked, and I mean, if I don't get asked 20 times a day, I don't get asked once, is Torchwood coming back? And I wish, I wish, I wish I could turn around and say, yes. I did it on BBC Breakfast, didn't go down well. <laughs> um, oh, I'm naughty. Um, too, but it just rubs me up the wrong way. And I have, I the thing is, you see, Bill. Well, the thing is, you see, Bill. The problem is, Bill. I said Bill about 50 times. Oh, thanks, Bill. Uh, anyway, but uh, I wish I could say yes. The only people who know this answer is Russell and the BBC. And what I do know for, for certain is that when they phone us and they let us know that we, that we need it, we'll be there. That's all I can say. Kai won't, because Kai's going to die in it. <laughs> I, 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 I die in the opening credits of, uh, of season five. Yes. Yeah. Really badly. Oh. <laughs> um, it's not good to die. <laughs> talking about the incoming Doctor and things like that, obviously you worked with Peter on Children of Earth. Yes. What memories do you have of him from that? Apart from him being absolutely incredible. I mean, you guys are in for such a treat as him as the next Doctor. He's going to absolutely rock. He's going to be amazing. I'm so, so excited. Yeah, so am I. I couldn't agree more. He's going to be brilliant. He's such a good actor. He is. He's such a good actor. I, I, he, um, but he's a gentleman as well. Yeah, he was good. I'll never forget the, 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 the final read-through of Children of Earth in the, in the Dragon Hotel in Swansea. Do you remember? And they all, they all gathered, you know... We'd all read Frobisher before, we'd all read it, we'd all had it, but they, they, they held an actual read-through just to hear it out loud, and um, Nicholas Farrell came, and uh, all, all the, all, they were all there, and Peter turned up and, and did this read-through, and we all just, he made us change our thoughts on Frobisher in a way, didn't he, do you remember? I went, oh my God, this poor man. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of Peter Capaldi. I, I, I only met him at the read-through and a couple of times briefly on set, but yeah, I think you're in for a treat with him, he's such a good, good, good actor. Yeah. Fantastic. We have another question here. It's a question for you. Did, Hi, darling. Did you enjoy meeting the 49th sexiest we man in Wales yesterday? I haven't slept. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't here yesterday! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was very sweet of him. Yeah, yeah. He said 49th, not 50th. Who was it? Where is he? Is he here? I, I don't think he was here today. Oh, uh, yeah, he yeah. Knew him. He was very, very sweet, bless him. He said, I, I, I made the top 50. Who was it? 49. The 49th sexiest man in Wales. I went, lovely. <laughs> Dr. Reese show. Oh, I know Dr. Reese. Is he? Oh, he was in the 49th sexiest. Good man. Yeah. He's a lovely man. Yeah, yeah. He's coming here today. I know he's coming today as well. A question down here, though. Hiya. Um, obviously, you, you're in Cardiff and things a fair bit of living here. Have you been down to see Yanto Shrine? And what was it like when you first saw it? <laughs> 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 I, I have been down, yes, a couple of times. Um, I took the torture tour there last year. <laughs> Bonkers. 
uh, yeah, yeah, it's... The fans loved him, quite rightly so. It's a lovely memorial. I, I quite like the fact that Cardiff Council have acknowledged the fact and put a plaque there to say that this is a fictional character. Um, it's bonkers. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they love Jan, so quite right, you know, so fair enough. It's a lovely shine. Lovely shine to Gareth. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's bonkers, it's, sad. it's, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? But they genuinely cared so much about him. And, and you know, he's a great character, good lad. Every time I see it, I just have to give him a text going, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, mate, sorry, I'm just going to be carried away. <laughs> Were you ever I, feel, I feel really sorry for Gal because I bet he can't really go to the very much to the mean. Oh, he does, he stands there. <laughs> I think he's been in disguise a couple of times with a hoodie on and shades and he's sort of walked by there I think you know and been down there and some fans have been there and not tweaked that it's Carol standing by them oh they've they, they, they yeah. tweaked when he's gone <laughs> I'm alive <laughs> I'm drunk but I'm alive <laughs> watch me swim <laughs> all the way to Penang <laughs> Are we good for another question? Yeah. yeah. Go on, we've got them right at the back here. Hello. Um, obviously, Torchwood and Doctor Who have such a very close relationship. The two programmes are very linked all the way through. Um, and obviously, you've worked with the late David Tennant. I say late because when the Doctor died. <laughs> <laughs> his, his death, I can't watch anything else with him in. Because to me, he's, he's, you know, the Doctor, that's it. Um, is there a particular doctor that sort of broke your heart when he died, like David Tennant's doctor's death did for so many of us? <laughs> well, I, 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 I just watched Matt's um, regeneration, or the, when, when Peter Cavalli comes into it. Um, and I liked it, I did. But like, I, I, I particularly liked the David um, at the very end of his sort of episode saying, I don't want to go. I kind of got me a little bit. Oh, really? play. Um, I would say I would say David's probably yeah because it was a nice time because I think it was the end of the year with Russell and Julie. So maybe that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was um, uh, when when Chris went because that's when we brought it back. We brought back this huge, huge phenomena, and and that was the end for for Chris Eccleston and, and into David. It, it just. It just seemed too soon, it seemed too quick. And because I was involved with, I think it was the second episode of the first ever series, it just seemed that that little paragraph, that, that kind of little part of the story was, was gone too quick. So, um, but obviously it, it, it has to keep moving on to bigger and better and more exciting things. And, and that's the, the aim of Doctor Who. So, um, and then we had the lovely David. So, you know, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Hi. Hi. I don't know. Obviously, we're massive fans of Torchwood. Is there anything you you get like really geeky about, like any show? That's on at the Breaking Bad. Yeah. Yeah. Breaking Bad. Yeah. <laughs> Massively so. Yeah. I uh, Breaking Bad. Absolutely. Uh, I'm absolute. Oh, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it yet or is going to go and see it. But I broke my heart. I, I put off seeing the, the the last series for two days. <laughs> For two days, I went, no, I'm not watching it, I'm not watching it because that's the end. Can't bear it! And, um, oh, God, it's fantastic. I love it. Yeah. That and Six Feet Under. Oh, I'm a big Dexter fan as well. I love Dexter. Yeah. That's my, my new one. That's oh, the next one I'm watch. Out of this world. Yeah, all them. Oh, Breaking Bad and Dexter, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, Breaking Bad, absolutely. Of course. I'm, I'm still a huge Buffy fan as well. I love Buffy. <laughs> It's the working with John Barman question that you think of this. Uh, I know someone who went to a John Barman Q&A and he said that uh, he would sometimes do scenes without trousers on. What do you mean sometimes? <laughs> He's always shot from the waist up, watch it all back. <laughs> he uh, mentioned the uh, episode where he was kidnapped naked and he particularly mentioned you, Kai. Um, <laughs> how difficult was it to win scenes with him and trying to keep a straight face? Well, it, it was... It's not so much a straight face, it's, a, it's trying to hide the shock. 
Yeah, it, I know exactly the one where he was. Where, it's the one where he get he comes out of the slime. He comes out of the <laughs> And he's got chains. And he's got chains on his arms. And we come around the corner and he's just sta- and he's just standing there completely stark as yeah, yeah. And there's there's a shot. I think he talks about the bit where we go into the car when I sort of lead him in, kind of thing to the car, and he gives me a a wink and kind of slap on my on my behind. That isn't Jack, it's definitely John, as if we're like with the sea buddy. You know, as, as, as he gets into the car, it's, it's that scene. Because we come around and he's just bollock naked there. And it was peeing down the rain in the quarry up in, um, I can't remember where it was, it's outside Cardiff. And it was just lots of shale and wet and rock on the floor. And because he couldn't really walk, because um, he was barefoot, they put sanitary towels underneath his feet. Oh, he didn't, he did. He did, he did, yeah. He did. He did. Because of my feet, yeah, it's... <laughs> I remember just coming out of the car, he, he was like in the car, and went, oh, look at him, oh my god. And I mean, I mean, I ask questions when he hasn't got them out. You know that he's either very overtired or a little bit under the weather. <laughs> if, if, if it's not out. I mean, the scene where Gwen goes in for the first time with a pizza and kind of takes in the hub. I wasn't taking in the hub. <laughs> John Gowman was walking on the top part of the layer of the hub. And he's, and he's coming down. I wasn't looking at the hub. <laughs> Do you know there's a bit? Go back and watch that. We should, there's a bit when he. There's a bit where where Reese is dead on the slab in the, in I think at the end of series one and stuff. We, we were fooling there for days and, and he he was Reese was out on the slab. He was all in burns, you know, in the sort of lab down in the hub. And 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 John's <coughs> little boy, big boy. Uh, it was out all the time. I remember putting it in a kidney dish and coming close to me going, what a that big boy. <laughs> That's out all day long in that place, you remember? Constant. Oh, God, with some tongs as well. And, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man alive. Honestly, I know we go on about his, his Billy Bob Thornton a lot, <laughs> but it is, it's constant. And we have to put up with the constant. I feel like I'm sharing. I feel like I'm in like a sort of AA cock group. We go to these conventions all the time. I can guarantee you, every Q and A panel, John's Willie is mentioned. <laughs> we were in Brecon Beacon. Look, there's so many stories. We were in Brecon Beacon doing my favourite episode ever, ever, which is the countryside. Uh, and we were, we were in Brecon Beacon, and it was freezing. I mean, it was. I'm from at that way. That's where my family from. So I'm used to the cold. It was freezing, and I was kind of happy like this in a ball. We've been filming all day. It was about six o'clock at night freezing. We've been doing all the running scenes and I remember kind of shivering like this with my coat around me like this freezing. And he came over and, and we, we, we're very kind of, we're a coochie, we're a coochie bunch, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he comes over and I thought he's going to give me a big snuggle. And uh, so he comes over and he gives me a little snuggle like that. And I go, oh, I'm cold, John, I'm cold, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm like a woman, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready to done now. That's me, I'm done. I'm ready for a beer and a curry. I'm ready to go home. And uh, yeah. Uh, I had a Christmas card from Domino's, don't tell anyone. Anyway, um, so I guess it's cold and cold, and he starts to go, oh, come on, babes. Oh, come on, babes. Come on, babes. You can get them. I'm like, that's a bit much, isn't it? And literally, it's doing this, right? And I'm like, what are you doing? And he's hitting me on the head with it.